Hello everyone, welcome back to Consortium. This is going to be my second playthrough of this game, and as such it's intended for people who already saw my first one. So there will be major spoilers, based on what I've already learned. So beware. So my last playthrough ended in disaster unfortunately because the game was extremely buggy and I was unable to complete it due to bugs. Which was very unfortunate because I'm pretty sure I was very close to the end. Now the developers... The developers were working on a patch and were expecting to get it out by the end of January, but thankfully they've managed to get one out that is supposed to fix all of the major game-breaking bugs and they got it out a lot sooner. So I'm really happy about that. Much sooner than I thought. They're still working on it, they're still going to do additional patches, but I believe the game-breaking stuff should be fixed. Which is great. So one of my viewers, Gideon Graves, told me about the Consortium Alternate Reality Game which you can actually play on the website for this game. So I was checking that out, and also I was looking over the Steam forums, and the developers on the Steam forums have posted a lot of background information about this game. Basically, there's a lot more to this game than what you just see on the surface. There's so much backstory, it's kind of mind-blowing. It's actually kind of overwhelming. I'm not really sure what to do with it exactly. I checked a bit of that stuff out, but... I think my approach to understanding this game and its universe, I think I'm going to take more of an iterative approach. So I already know a bit about the game from my first partial playthrough, and I've read a little bit of the background information. But I think what I'm going to do is just play through the game and finish it. Finish it once, and then go back through that information again. Now with, you know, a better picture on what the whole game is about and how the whole structure of it works. Go back through the information look it over, try to understand it, and then probably do yet another playthrough. And then maybe just continue that until I think I've gotten enough playthroughs to, you know, see whatever interesting things I want to explore in this game. So I think that's the approach I'm going to take. I don't want to get bogged down in reading tons of text for, for hours just before playing this game. So I think I'm going to save that for after I get one full playthrough of it. Also, since I already know a bit about the game from my first playthrough, I'm going to be choosing new options. So even if you've seen my first playthrough, um, it should it should still be interesting. Because I'll be choosing new stuff. Also, it should go a lot faster, too, now that I actually know what I'm doing. Sort of. I kind of know what I'm doing. We'll see. Anyway, let's go. Axis Quantum Stream. Alright, well, I'm not a first-timer. Um... I'm not sure if it's gonna like disable tutorial stuff. I'll go with intermediate. It'll be fine. I agree. So we're back here connecting to Bishop Six. Yeah, those symbols popped up in the, uh, the alternate reality game on their website, too. There's Bishop Six. found dead in the cargo container ship. The ship had initiated auto docking procedures. Come in. Emergency personnel on site reported finding no survivors aboard. Lights. 21. One, one, one. Much better. Dead. Not so Nothing sorry further, to wake you, Bishop. Cause of death we thought you should know about our little escort. And that's the latest from here in London. All right. I'm Let's go the same options on. here for now. Because I think the only major difference I can make in the dialogue options here is to make her extremely suspicious, which I don't want to do. I'd like to try that, maybe for a joke, make everyone extremely suspicious, 
but not this playthrough. Escort, should we be worried? <laughs> worried? No, Bishop. There's nothing to worry about. Not unless you're afraid of a couple crummy American F-35s piloted by a group of washed-up mercenaries. A few more bad apples who wish the war never ended. It's just another day in the consortium. Crummy? But Americans make the best stuff. Actually, no, let's go with something else. Why would anyone wish for war? Seriously? Maybe a mission junkie like yourself hasn't noticed. Think about how many heavy-hidden countries, since the resource wars ended, have practically abandoned most, if not all, their military disbursement. Hundreds of thousands of battle-hardened monkeys are being tossed back into the world with little more than a handshake and a thank you. War is all they've ever known. Okay, I just wrote down a note. Resource wars. I need to look that up on the information console. Sounds like you've got yourself a catch-22 situation. <laughs> well, yeah. Except I think anyone would rather deal with mercenaries run amok than with another global war. And you know how it is. Quality of life is still rising at an unbelievable rate and for the vast majority of people. As Pawn44 would undoubtedly say, it's a wonderful time we're living in. Okay, a couple of those options would make her extremely suspicious. And so, who are you? <laughs> okay, so why are these particular mercenaries bothering us? To escort us through Bulgaria. It's a long story, but let's just say the leader of this particular crew has a very strong disliking for our way of doing things. He likes to think he's doing the people of Bulgaria a service by pestering us, but really, they're as fed up with him as the K and I are. Tell me more about this leader. What? You just say, tell me more, and I'm supposed to jump. If you <laughs> want to know more about him, search for Fine. Kirill Angelov in any of the ship information consoles. That's K-I-R-I-L. Or go and talk to the K. Jesus. She's angry. Then again, I guess I already knew that, didn't I? The first option, I asked you a question, Rook, now you'd better jump? Oh my god. Yeah, she'd really like me after that. Okay, I'm just gonna say nothing. So, let's get you suited up and ready to kick some homeless arse. Here are your basic consortium tools. You got your PCU, BUS and Assault Helmet, all specifically tailored to fit you nice and snug. Excellent. Great, thank you. Hey, no problem. Now, Pawn7 and I have some CCU maintenance to take care of in the lower crawl. Feel free to wander the ship and meet your new crew, or maybe hit up the virtual trainer and complete your bishop training scenario. The VT is at the end of the hall, next to the elevator. Oh, and don't forget to go and get your CMC from the K. You can find her in mission operations, at the end of the hall, to your right. Let's go meet the crew. Also, the frames per second definitely seem a lot better. Good afternoon, sleepyhead. Well, okay, it just went down to 30. Never mind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is better, but maybe not that much. Anyway, it's totally playable. What the? Were you? I think I just pushed her inside of that room accidentally. I'm sorry, I didn't mean yes, to. Yes, Bishop? What can I do for you? Just saying hi. And hello again to you. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Well now, aren't you the tall, dark, and friendly one? Actually, I'm actually quite short. Can you point this friendly guy to something fun? I don't know what the hell that option's gonna do. Let's go with it. I suppose the information console could be considered fun. Unless you're like me and have already read everything on it 20 times over. Maybe try talking to Rook 9 in the cockpit. <laughs> That's always an adventure. What do you do for fun, then? I like to work. If I've got nothing to do, then I'll find a job or ask Rook 9. Every minute of this gig is like taking a long, scented steam bath. 
<sighs> Others, though, you'll usually find off duties down in the barracks with their heads in VR decks. Hmm. Okay. Uh, should I say something or just say nothing? Nothing? Oh. Anyway, if you don't mind, I have to go check in with Rook 9 now. Hey, and try to avoid Pawn 1 if you want to keep from screaming at someone on your first day. I think I just got stuck on her. <laughs> I felt a little bit awkward at the end, but she didn't. Her lineman didn't go down, so I guess she didn't find it awkward. Also, I realize that you can turn these on. Very, very cool. Oh god, didn't mean to do that. Calm down, Bishop, calm down. Also, didn't mean to do that. Let's just recharge like a normal person. Ah. Let's go meet the crew. See if I remember how to navigate this place. I think I do. It's right up here, right? Yeah. Six, welcome to mission operations. First things first, here is your consortium mind communicator. Just call it a CMC. Hearing consortium mind communicator over and over just gives well, me a there, headache. Handsome. Consortium officers only need to think what we'd like to say to each other, and the CMC will do the rest. Shouldn't we be dealing with those fight? Well, maybe I'll just say nothing. Okay, Six, before you move on to something else, I wanted you to officially meet Rook Nine, Captain of Zenlo. Good day, B. Glad to have you here with us. And the name is actually Wade. Uh, just stick to Wade. Lay off the Rook Nine nonsense, eh? Thanks, Wade. It's great to be here. Once the boss deals with our friend Angelov here, come and see me in the cockpit. I got some extra rare scotch I've been itching to share with someone. Were they gone? Uh, I really miss having someone to drink with. Wade, Wade! Just stop right there, please. He's only kidding, Six. Or at least he better be. So hey, all kidding aside, give me just a few minutes to finish up this diagnostic, and then I'd like to get a look at you in person. For now, I want you to walk around a little and meet your new crew. Most of them are eager to meet you. Let's go talk to the hyperactive coffee guy. This time, let's make sure he does not give me coffee, because that will piss off Night 15. Uh, hey, hi. How, how are you? Oh, oh my gosh. Y you're Bishop Six! Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing to meet you. Uh, did you know that the old Bishop Six left the consortium early 2040? Yep, he just up and left. He's a stay-at-home dad now. Go figure. Uh, he lives in Florida with his wife and his two kids. Beautiful family. Beautiful, beautiful family. Love them. I'm great. It's nice to meet you. Mm, pawn 12, is it? Uh, yep, uh, Pawn 12. David Benedict, uh, at your service. Uh, well, well, not literally at your service, uh, unless you want me to be, because I could be at your service, although, although you know, uh, no nothing that goes over the line. But, um, the, you, the, uh, you want me to get you some coffee? <laughs> <laughs> you want to get me coffee, like, right now? Sure, why not? Because that's weird and you're not my secretary. Uh, well, now I feel kind of silly. <laughs> well, you're, it's just you're a pretty great guy and it's really great to have you aboard. <laughs> oh, um, I'm, uh, I, I'm gonna go back to work now then. Um, uh, maybe we could go get a drink sometime together. Um, my sister, she, she'd love an autograph from you. <laughs> I think he's played too many consortium video games. <laughs> yeah, what does he mean I'm a great guy? He, he just met me. How does he know anything about me? I mean, maybe he read my file or something, but... Well, maybe that's it. Maybe he just read my file. Oh, already talked to you. Ah, Pawn 1. Gary Ma the douchebag. I'm a little busy right now. Uh-oh. The text options are kind of messed up. I don't know what the first one says. I only wanted to say hi, I think is what it says. 
I'll go with what I did before. I'm sorry, didn't mean to bother you. He's still just a little sore over Bishop 8 leaving us. Like a big baby. It's not funny, sir. You deserve better. Much better. I almost want to be a dick to him back. I could. I could be a dick to him back. We could dick each other. What if we both dick each other? What happens? Hmm. Hmm. No, I'll save that for a wacky playthrough that I might do where I try to be super suspicious and weird. What are you talking about? Bishop, I simply don't think you're right for this post. Yeah, well, I don't even like this post. It's all rotten. It needs to be remade. Freaking termites. You don't know a damn thing about me. No, 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 it's too aggressive. Why do you think that? Well, your career record alone doesn't stand up to half the other candidates. And then there's your personal life. My God, don't even get me started there. It just occurred to me, do I even have to talk to him? Maybe I could just avoid talking to him altogether. You know what, I'm done talking to you. I'm sorry about him. Don't let it bother you. He's been rather attached to Bishop 8 since 8 saved his life the fourth or fifth time. Got some big shoes to fill, no doubt. You could say that. He was well liked by most of the crew, but between you and I, it was his time to move on. His incredible luck was running out. No, no, I mean literally he had a very big shoe size and I'm wearing his shoes because I didn't have any and you gave me his, remember? Okay. Hey, wait a minute. I just realized something. Rook 25 didn't tell me to that I, I seem like I'm acting strange. I should go speak to the medic. Yeah, okay, so you can actually not get that mission if you don't, I guess, if you don't act strangely at all. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's go down and speak to them anyway. Okay, I know she comes out of here. I forgot who she is. Oh, it's Adele Grand. Oh, Bishop, you startled me. Is she using the bathroom? I don't know, she's whistling and she's locked inside of the cell. Why did she You know it as well as I do, Patricia. Do you really want hmm. to get into this now? She could come back from the crawl at any second. Do I look like I care? Let her hear me. I do not deserve this kind of treatment, and it's time she understands this. <laughs> what kind of Oh yeah, he's talking about Rook 25, alright. But he's talking to Patricia, who I already know is the traitor. What exactly that's going to lead to as far as my options go, I don't know, but I've got to use that information somehow. Maybe I can actually find the traitor. Wait a minute, you can read the book? It looks like it's kind of reading it. But in an extremely awkward way, it's displaying it on the very top. In the little green bar. Oh no, restart. Ah, oh, damn it. I missed the beginning. Let's try that again. And <laughs> now it's never going to appear again. Okay, it's a one-time read only. Ugh. You know, I remember seeing in the patch notes that they lowered the shadow resolution to improve performance, and um, it shows. Because these look freaking hideous. Those are some of the most pixelated shadows I have ever seen. They're horrible. Just don't look at them. Don't look at them. Oh, 
Oh yeah, okay, so let's ask this guy more important questions than I did last time. Basically, before I just said to him, hey, what game are you playing? And then we talked about games, and then that was it. Oh well, hey, the new bishop! I got a few minutes to talk if you want. How was your sleep? Those bunks up there can be pretty comfortable. They're 60% made of hemp. Canadian hemp, the best in the world. Hmm. I'm a little bit hyperactive. I think I've had too much coffee. <laughs> I still love that that really creepy option. I can't feel the bunk. Because it's not my skin. Hey, I had a great sleep, in fact. Excellent. I always wonder when I'm put with a new bishop or rook or knight. I always wonder what they're going to be like. And you seem cool, so that's good. I feel like a dog. Like a really happy dog. Like, ha, ha, feed me a treat. Feed me a treat. Well, thank you, Bond44. No problem, no problem. Glad to help. Uh, I actually haven't helped you, have I? Well, glad to meet you, at least. You really All do right, need to slow down. I lock my sanctum. Uh, cockpit. Come by and say hi. Yes, yes I do. And someone called me mad. Bishop 8 even once tried to kill me about two months back. He denies it, of course, and nobody believes me, but I know it's true. Why does this say show objective zero on the right-hand side of the screen? He tried to kill you? Yeah, no joke! I was talking with him about how the world has seen a decrease in the number of populations living with a sub-replacement fertility rate. Well, apparently he didn't like what I had to say and pulled his weapon on me. He threatened to kill me if I didn't stop speaking. Oh, hey, Bishop. I didn't hear you come in. I, uh, I have to get back to work. What? You're a strange man. Wait a second, Makai. Not so fast. Are you coming to the party or not? We're having it before you leave for home. The second we're done in BC. No excuses will be accepted. No, uh, I can't. I'm sorry. It's nice to meet you. Right. So, Bishop, I was just playing a game with my brother, but he had to go and take care of something. Do you need anything else from me? I'd be happy to chat, at least until my brother gets back. Okay, um... And what was wrong with him? Pawn 64? Who knows? He refuses to come to the party we're throwing for you and Rook 13. Says he won't go if Rook 13 is there. What's that about? And who turns down a chance to party? Rook 13? Who is Rook 13? I don't remember. I'm not sure if we've even met them yet. I'll have to see in just a second. How about I try and convince him to come? Really? Well, if you don't mind, yeah, that would be great. I, I'm sure he'll listen to you. Convince Bishop, Bond 64 uh, to come I've to your party. I've got to get back to my game. My brother's back and we don't have much time to finish this level. We'll talk later, I promise. Well, that's a new quest. Convince him to come to the party. Now, Pawn 14. Yeah, I haven't met them yet. I wonder if that's Patricia. I can't remember what Patricia's number is. Bishop Six, welcome to the medical bay. Hello. This place is disastrous. I do apologize. Oh, come on, Kieran. Greet our new bishop. Bishop? It's nice to see you again. Stop getting stuck on you. Get up. Nah, there we go. Why do they keep turning away from me when I walk towards them? <laughs> he just spun all the way around. What the hell? Interesting moves. Is that a television? Yes. It is a 32-inch Toshiba from 1995. One of the many televisions I've managed to acquire over the years. The best in my collection is a 3-inch General Electric Octagon from 1928. Notice he is actually proud of that fact? You, you can look at me, you know. There you go. So you like movies? Oh, I'll say nothing. So anyway... Now, we've got a lot more cleaning to do around here. Oh, <laughs> you mean you do. I will return to my command VR, if there is nothing else you need, Bishop. You know, before I didn't say it was a game, but let's try it this time. Is that a game then, Command VR? Yes, it is a fantastic VR game. Puts you right into the head of many famous military commanders it's a distasteful and disrespectful game, especially in these times. It is also only played by a small number of people. Why would you say that? Exactly. Why? 
People need to wake up and realize that the resource wars are over. You're generalizing again, 24. And Bishop, I simply believe that most people have seen enough death and destruction for a lifetime or more. They do not need to be reminded of it with advertisements for murder simulators all over the newswire and VR servers. Good day, Bishop. It was really nice meeting you. Hey, it's back! What in the hell is going on in there? It's like a five second loop. Uh, I think there's something wrong with your tape there, buddy. That thing is beautiful. Alright, let's go speak to the people up here, especially Patricia. I think there's any interesting dialogue options I can go with with her now that I know she's the traitor. Alright, she's pawn 32. Let's talk with this douchebag. Oh, I can't. Alright. Good afternoon, Bishop. I'm sorry you had to hear all that. It's not my problem. That's nice to hear. Aid would have probably slapped him for talking like that. So, Bishop Six? What made you choose the consortium anyway, if you don't mind my asking? To fight crime and save the world? <laughs> well, the world is actually doing a pretty good job of saving itself. The end of a massive world war tends to do that. But everything comes back around eventually. And we'll be here when it does. Hmm, there's a little bit of an edge to her voice at the end of that sentence. Now that I know she's the traitor, I'm really paying attention to what she says even more. I think we can help break the cycle. I really didn't expect that from you. <clears throat> well, from a bishop, I mean. And yes, what the hell's up I the audio? completely agree. The consortium can potentially make all the difference this time around. Yep, you're absolutely right. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Bishop, but I've got some work in upper avionics to take care of. Wade mentioned something about environmental monitors acting funny, and he wants me to check it out. Well, she got a bit awkward there with that. Not surprising. It's almost like she thought maybe... I, I was on to her. Which I am. Alright, so the audio's messed up again. Which happened before when I was playing through the game, and I believe I fixed it by loading my game. So let's try that again. Okay, and once again it fixed it. Cool. Now I can talk to you. Oh, hey. I know you probably want to get to know me and all that crap. But Rook 25 has just stuck me with many of Pawn 7's duties. <sighs> I am a little busy. Alright, I want to be a douchebag to this douchebag. But I want to talk. Oh, you do, do you? The bishop wants to talk. <laughs> okay, bishop. I can give you a second. What would you like to talk about? I don't know. I was hoping you'd have an idea. Hmm. Well, I can't think of anything. Oh well, back to work. Tell me a little bit about Pawn 32. That's Patricia. She's cute. I'll give her that much. Way too religious for my taste, though. And a little self-righteous because of it. I'm sorry, but belonging to two churches does not make you better than everyone else. 
bishop. Two churches. Okay, I know she's a member of the Guardian of the... Was it the Guardian of the Light or something? The Guardian Church, whatever it's called. But what's the other church she's part of? Hmm. Let's go to the bathroom. There we go. I feel better. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to convince you to come to the party. All right. Let's do that. Oh, uh, hello, Bishop. I don't really have the time to talk right now. You better make the time. Pawn 44 is worried about you, you know? Yeah, well, he doesn't understand. It's not something I can explain to you either. I'm sorry. Not yet, anyway. Do I push him? I don't think he... There's no way he's going to give me the information now if I push him. Mm, I'm going to say nothing. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, because I remember what happened before when I tried to push him. That is the holographic situation room. It's where you can watch Dirty Holovitz when you're bored and feeling uh, lonely. Whoa, whoa, I am listening to this, you know. Oh, hey, boss. Uh, I was just telling the bishop about the uh, Dirty Holovitz. <laughs> All jokes aside... The hollow situation room is actually for mission briefings and debriefings, usually led by the king or the queen. I was getting to that part, I swear I was. So yeah, even when I had a fairly good uh, stance with him, you know, he liked me quite a bit, I tried to push him and he still wouldn't give me the information, he never did. In my last playthrough, so I'm not going to push him this time. We meet again on this uh, small plane. What? What? I'm not even quite sure what he said. Anyway, what is this? I heard, like, when I was looking around the Steam forum, somebody mentioned about books being on either side of the chess thing. Oh. So there, what the, what are you doing? You said you're busy, but all you appear to be doing is pacing back and forth. Alright, let's read it. Although reading books seems to be just make a tiny bit of text appear on the top little strip. So let's attempt to read it awkwardly. I walked on the causeway. Bodies shifting slightly. I didn't stop now. Walking as quickly as I dared. Are these just like snippets from random bits? Across the slippery backs. And heads of thousands. Of men and... Of men and women? Is it men and women, not men and women? Is it men and women? Okay. Fighting fantasy anthology. At last, your two-day hike is over. You unsheath your sword, lay it on the ground, and sigh with relief. As you lower yourself down onto the mossy rocks to sit for a moment's rest. You stretch, rub your eyes, and finally look up at... <laughs> Okay, then. Interesting. My sister's going as well. She's never been to the theater before. Being a hologram in the seats, it doesn't really count as going to the theater, does it? At least it gives her some culture for a change. Something better than the hours she spends in that VR world she calls a life. Hey, now. That VR world makes her happy, no? I don't know. I just don't see the appeal of living your life like that. It's not really living. Uh, tell her that to, to the millions of wire heads out there. Can I not, not speak to them? I was supposed to meet the crew. Huh. Okay. So what are my missions at the moment? I still need, con I still need to convince Pawn64 to come to my party. Although I can't seem to talk to him again. So I think I'm going to fail that. And speak with Wade. Alright, let's go speak with Wade. Ooh, grabs it. What the hell? Interesting little slide there. Um, why are the lights out? It's a little bit creepy. I'm gonna leave now. I don't want to be in here. It's 
probably faster just to use the stairs. I don't know, it feels more appropriate to use the elevator, though. Oh, I can talk with her. Why you type me in the air like that? That would betray my ignorance. How's it... Ooh, do I want to say how's it going? I don't know if she'd like small talk. It might just be a waste of her time. Let's try it. How's it going? Good. Thank you. Oh. So far, shaping up to be a day like any other. Okay. No time to waste. We can talk more later. Maybe after Angelov stops beating his chest and goes home. Yeah. Okay, Mum. Look, we need to say goodbye now. No, no, no. Don't, don't tell me to shut my mouth. It's not nice. <laughs> no, Mum. You need to rest. Yes, rest is good. We'll, we'll talk later tonight when you're feeling better. Yeah. Uh, goodbye, Mum. Ah, <laughs> sorry about that, V. Uh, welcome to the nerve center of everything, Zenlil. Uh, you see all those buttons and switches all over the place. I actually know what they do. Every one of them. <laughs> How's that for impressive? Say, wait, what does this switch do? And this one? Wait, uh, mentioned some extra rare scotch before? <laughs> oh, Christ, I wish I was being serious. It's not like this plane doesn't fly itself anyway. A drunk captain wouldn't make much of a difference. If you don't fly this thing, then what do you do? Huh, try not to fall asleep, I guess. I started a game with myself a few weeks ago. For every hour I stay awake, I give myself a cookie. Eight pounds later, and I'm still doing pretty good. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> uh, like not be. Bullshit's a lot more fun than the truth. The uh, boring answer is that I'm kept quite busy. I mostly just feel like a big daddy to all the scampered pods around here. During your missions, I'll be the one guiding your hand, telling you where to go and what to avoid. I can pretty much tap into any security system out there, giving me a bird's eye view on all your surroundings. All right, gonna say nothing. So that was your mother on the line. Yeah, it sure was. Second greatest love of my life. She's had Alzheimer's for a few years now. Nah, I'll try and call her when I can. I'll visit whenever I'm back in Perth. And your first love being, let me guess, this plane. <laughs> You've got it. I haven't had a flesh and blood partner since first taking this captain's chair. But I say who needs him? Am I right? Besides, I've always got me mum. Oh, come on, Wade. We both know you have somebody. I have to say nothing. <laughs> well, I guess I'm wrong. Who am I kidding? I'm lonely. I need a woman and bad. <laughs> Do you know anybody? You're kidding, right? I already know you're with someone. Come on. What about Night 15? Oh, remember the little tape thing that played of them dancing? Rook 25? No way. What about Night 15? <laughs> She's leagues more sophisticated than me. Plus, most of her interests are far beyond my meager comprehension. She's a real brain powerhouse. Kind of like Rook 13, only a lot less strange. So, B, is there anything else you need? I've got something here I need to concentrate on. Can I help you at all? I appreciate the offer, but no. Don't sweat it. The King and I have got everything under control. We'll find the bastard. And hey, welcome to the consortium. <laughs> oh, now that's odd. What's up? Something just tripped security sensors on Bishop 8's old bus locker. The keypad was accessed. Why is this bus still aboard? Ah, it's a long story, but essentially the company we use for recycling most of our equipment hasn't been available to pick it up for weeks. So in Bishop 8's old cabin, the bus sits. They claim work order issues and double bookings, but I think the whole company is going down. That seems a little strange, doesn't it? Mm, not really, no. Just a string of incompetence on their end. But hey, the bright side is they'll have it out of our way in two days' time, and the King is already looking into other options for equipment disposal. Should I go take a look in the cabin? Yeah. Hey, why not? Saves me the trip, 
I wouldn't be surprised to find it's just another glitch. zenlil has been acting mighty strange today. Although, the bus locker itself is separate from the ship's primary systems right now. It's bloody well disconnected. Hmm. Well, if you're up for it, I'd appreciate the help. The cabin's right across from yours, you can't miss it. Go take a look, I'll keep an eye out through your CMC. Let's say nothing. Alright, well I know what I'm gonna find. So that's no surprise. I'll go in there in just a second. Before that, I'll be right back. Alright, let's proceed to the murder scene. Lights. Hell. Wait, lock down that cabin immediately. Way ahead of your boss. Is that pawn seven? But I I was just with him two minutes ago. What happened? Rook 13, will you please quietly get up there? And don't tell Pawn 24 anything. We need to contain this before the whole ship finds out. Yes, sir. On my way. And I'm sorry, Six, but I need you there. At least until Rook 13 can take a look. Of course. No problem. Good. Just until Rook 13 can determine it was an accident. I'm not about to believe someone committed murder on my ship. Okay, Wade. Let me in. My God, I just let him go on his lunch break. He was complaining about having skipped breakfast. I... I was only trying to be nice for once. Alana, you have nothing to blame yourself for. If there is someone to blame for this, then I trust he or she will come forward on their own. Wade, I am here. I just can't believe he's dead. I've been such a bitch to him lately. You are more often than not a bitch to everyone. Not only Pawn 7. You know, I'm gonna tell him off for being a dick. Wow, some brother you are. It's okay, Bishop. Kieran is only saying what he thinks is the right thing to say. He's only trying to make me feel better. <laughs> it looks yeah, as good job he's doing. head against the locker panel with enough force to nearly cave in his skull. This was absolutely no accident. Thank you, Kieran. You are not going to like this, but I want you all to exit the room immediately. Nobody gets in or out, not until we reach Ireland. Are you kidding me? At least let us move him to the med containment unit. Here, Kieran, help me put him on the bed. Okay, before I said nothing, uh, I'll say nothing again. Hmm. My book. What was that, Kieran? Your book? Mind explaining what your book was doing under the dead body of one of my pawns? I cannot explain that to you because I do not know. I noticed it was missing from the med bay this morning. I simply assumed someone had borrowed it. I was apparently correct. Alright, well I already know he didn't do it, so there's no point in putting him in the brig. What's the book about? Some call it the Guardian Church Bible. Though I do not know why. It is mostly just a collection of inspirational stories about church members. A best of, from headway meetings around the world. How many Guardian Church members are aboard the ship? At least half, maybe even three quarters of us. It is not uncommon for consortium officers to be Guardian Church members. And I don't see why that matters, Six. We have a dead body on our hands. We can deal with the book later. Now, Alana, I hear your concern. But we can't risk someone seeing you move his body to the med bay. I'm sorry, but forget about the containment unit for now. All of you, listen to me very carefully. This stays between us. I swear that we'll get to the truth when we land in Ireland and we can question everyone individually. I really don't think waiting is a good idea. Someone on board this plane just killed one of my people and I want to know who. If only so I can personally string him up and throw him in the brig. Okay, what is that text that just showed up on the right? It just said fatalism. I remember seeing I remember seeing weird bits of text show up before. But I couldn't ever assign a meaning to it, and I still can't. Uh, I'm gonna stay out of it. No, Alana. You will listen to me and do nothing. It 
did not happen. Now, if you don't mind, get your asses out of that room. Yes, sir. This is so bloody insane. A murder on a C-3800. It can't be real. I'm going back in the crawl. Hey guys, I think I've got something here. I've been keeping a line open on our two fighter escorts outside, hoping they'd break the silence and speak to Angelov. Well, one of them just did. And, uh, well, you gotta hear this for yourselves. Tell me if you want me to patch the recording through your CMC. Yeah, let me hear it. All right, B. Here it comes. This is Operation Forerunner, calling for Angelov. Come in, Angelov. What do you want? I told you to be silent until the next phase. I know, sir, but but I'm having second thoughts about all of this. Uh, their plane is, well, it, it, it's very large, sir. And so the harder it will fall, yes? Remain where you are, or... Wait a minute. Is this line secure? Did you run this call through the program I told you to use? Oh, no, sir. I guess I did not. I'm sorry, sir. Just hold your position and wait till the next phase. And wait. If you're listening to this, and I know that you are, you can tell your knight that her new bishop is about to have a very bad day. All right, everyone. That puts us on high alert. I want you all prepared for whatever this next phase turns out to be. <laughs> yes, boss. But you won't catch me worrying. That is a delicious looking sandwich. Which is probably not what I should be thinking about at a time like this, when I've just seen somebody murdered, but it does look delicious. Bit of a strange color to the bread, though. Unusually brown. <laughs> it still says secondary objectives, not secondary. Is that a word and I just don't know it? I'm pretty sure secondary is not a word. Maybe it is. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I wonder if I do the training. That I won't be able to convince Pawn64 to come to the party. I'm pretty sure I already can't simply because I backed off. I didn't think he was going to go for it anyway. There's almost no way he would have went for it. Nah, I'll just do the training. I should be able to get through this pretty fast, I think. Welcome to the introductory Consortium Bishop training scenario. I'm Rook 20. Your personal containment unit can store matter in energy form and has built-in healing and repair functions. It is... Mm -hmm. Works in 10 with any valid utilities or free fall suits. solid matter objects directly into utility energy. You see the floating pieces of junk around the platform. All right, go ahead and shoot me, my friend. Robot is about to shoot you. That looks like a turn. Use utility energy to power your medical nanoids. Either select the number of slots in your HUD to auto heal the enemies of your kind, or select individual organs to heal from your inventory. Mm -hmm. All done. Yeah, I'm, I'm... I'm good. The battle utility suit and assault helmet represent your basic combat protection gear. Ow, that hurts. If you want to fix damage gear, Either select the number to slot in your HUD to auto repair your equipment, or select individual to repair from the inventory. The 
Consortium Energy Assault Rifle, or SEER, is your best non-lethal combat solution. Using its primary firing mode, it projects a multi-target sonic pulse that can knock down nearly any unshielded enemy. After bringing your enemies down, get up close and stick them with nanites to incapacitate them indefinitely. Notice that you can inject multiple targets simultaneously. The Kinetic Assault Rifle, or R, is your alternate combat weapon. Nice work! The Kinetic Assault Rifle, or CAR, comes equipped with lethal rounds capable mm -hmm. of tearing bad guy shields to shreds. It is also equipped with consortium issue non-lethal shock grenades. That can fire just about any type of grenade on the market. Non-lethal shock grenades. Alright, so the grenades are non-lethal. Stay down, stay down. There you go. Yes, the king is the greatest creation ever. Peace. Alright, do I still have the, uh, the party? I do. <laughs> well, as you can probably see, Angelov's two fighters have just multiplied into two dozen. <laughs> still another my girl can handle. Six and Kieran. They completed. Now is your chance to meet the great Bulgarian nuisance. He's on the holocom now and is acting, well... You'll have to come see for yourselves. It just said quest completed. The one to convince him to come to the party. I convinced him to come to the party? Uh, okay. Uh, I regret nothing. Those and men here he is now. Honor. You see? I'm not trying to play any games here. I'm only trying to prevent this from turning ugly. Again. Good, good. This is very good. And how is Bishop Six? You are feeling strong, I hope. Ready for your first day? Ready as I'll ever be. He's quite the Boy Scout, isn't he? Enough posturing. Either tell me what you want or get out of our way. <laughs> you have no idea what is happening here, poor little girl. Your king must be blind. Did we not just go through this song and dance a month ago? And did your daddy not give you a good spanking for it? My father will not be coming to your rescue this time, knight. Come now, Kirill. It's Christmas. How about you let us pass and we'll get into this another time? I promise. How does next Tuesday look for you? Mm, listen very carefully. You will land and surrender your warship immediately. If you do not, I will blow you out of the sky. You've got to be kidding me. Give me a minute to confer with my people. Clearly you do not understand. Comply now, or I will take Zenlil from you by force. A minute, Carol. That is not a request. One, will you please inform local authorities of our location and to expect possible plane debris to follow? I'm already on it, sir. Can you see now why I've called you all here? Oh, yes. He's probably just blowing smoke. But there's an edge to him I've not seen before. I mean, he's usually hopped up on himself, but never has he outright threatened to kill us. It's no doubt his attempt at revenge for what Bishop Eight did. He appears to be rather unintelligent as well. Or is this an illusion? The subject of his intelligence is one of constant debate around here. Well, I think he's not only stupid, but also irrational and hot-headed. A nasty combination for someone in his position of power. It's very deceiving, though. The use of old planes to stay under the radar. His bravado. The love his men have for him. 
I think it's a very intelligent role he plays to feed his all-encompassing ego and get what he wants. You give him far too much credit. Yeah, look away, coffee guy. Creepy's listening in on our conversation. I saw you looking at me. Alright, we should maybe be taking more seriously here. Oh, well, thank you. But I never said we should be taking him seriously. Just that he's acting a little off. Until we know what has changed, if anything, we'll treat him as we always do. Now, let's see if I can't deflate his bloated ego a little. Put him back on. Angelov is no longer transmitting. Wait a second. Sorry, boss, we got company. Uh, looks like a... Well, it's a bloody boarding carrier. It's only a few hundred meters behind us. How did it get so close? I can't explain it. It just came out of nowhere. But it's also emitting some kind of scrambler signal. I can't get a look. What the hell is... I've detected two new incoming F-35s. One's a few kilometers behind the other. There's a... There's a gathering energy source of some kind coming from the lead fighter. He's seven kilometers off the port side now, and he's closing fast. Five kilometers. I can just bypass the carrier signal to regain targeting control. You better make it quick. There is no way he's that stupid. I've almost got it. Three kilometers. What the hell is that thing? Wait, the Habitat 5124 incident. I think this is the same delivery system Stormbird reported. Wade? Chill, hold up, boss. I bet my life on it. Uh, we may have ourselves a problem. Auxiliary fuel reserve Just have a seat over here and relax. Secondary turbine engaged. Where's the second fighter, Wade? Talk to me! Uh, I can't see a bloody uh, thing, boss. Guys? Not a bloody thing. Guys, you may want to... Oh, shite! Get down! Ah! Oh, oh, thank you. Is everyone all right, Ben? Please, hurry. We've got two down and a room riddled with bullet holes. What the hell just happened? I haven't got an answer, Terry. I'm sorry. No bullet in existence can penetrate Tendler's plating. It just doesn't make any sense. Just relax, Wade. We need you focused. Now... Tell me about your girl. How badly is she hurt? Yes, sir. It looks like she's broken bloody back. We've got major shipwide failures. Our weapons, primary engines, cargo containment unit. They're all out. Okay, Wade. I want our primaries back online, and I'd also like to be able to shoot at the bad guys. Half an hour for primaries, 15 to 20 minutes for manual weapons. Just do the best you can, and do it fast. Yes, yes, sir. I see. Six. Be prepared to aid Rook-9 in defending this ship. Whatever I can do to help. Good. Let's hope it won't be necessary. All right. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. Now are you prepared to surrender, little girl? Drop the ridiculous act, for God's sake! This is not like you, Carol. You just shot up two of my people with that little stunt. And if you think, even for a second, that you're going to get away with that, you have another thing coming. Tell me something. How does the cold hand of death feel as it takes its grip around your throat? I think I can stall him for a little bit, but we need a better plan than this. Have you completely lost your mind? If you destroy this vessel, you will only bring the full might of the Consortium down on you. I'd say it's pretty simple. Lost we stall long enough to fix our guns, and then we flip his arse back to mercenary to oblivion. Kirill's temper will never give us enough time. I have grown to enjoy your company. You are as a little sister Let him to use me, the boarding carrier. Was once an Excuse me. Brother. Say that again, Kieran. You let him use the carrier. When he boards, we simply separate the head from the snake. And when only his men board us instead, Kieran has a point. You claim to be a politically driven mercenary whose worst Kieran crime before just today was raiding some and cargo flights and kidnapping a low-level politician or two. You that he are is. small time, Angelov. All of this madness today is far beyond your threat level. Threat level? You consortium scum know nothing right. about the world. With your threat levels in I can convince him to board us. Pretty sure that's what I said before, and she said, well, we'll see what happens. I like the enthusiasm, in the but that I, I don't want. think so. Make a mistake. I'll take care of it. You, you just make handle things when he boards. Like right. when you got so we let him think he's one, was it? and the rest Five tons of black market ex-gone materials from Lebanon to Baghdad. 
Those murderous Syrian and Iraqi mercenary groups chasing you, they sure didn't like you being in their airspace, did they? Hey, now. That sort of sounds familiar, doesn't it? I will only put up with so much disrespect, Knight. <sighs> I'm sorry, Carol. Really. But you do have me in an extremely difficult position here. <laughs> and so we come full circle. To the point. You will inform your Rook-9 that he is to land Zenlil at the coordinates I have already given him. Run along now and do what you are told. But we don't have enough fuel to reach the coordinates you have given us. Your EMP killed our primaries, and I'm assuming that you will never let a refueling ship anywhere near us. If you'll only listen to me for two minutes, I think I have a solution. Do your crew a favor and stop speaking. Let the men talk. Bishop Six, may I speak to you for a moment? Just a little chat before your knight forces me to shoot you down. I'm here. Start talking. This is good. A sensible bishop for once. Angelo, let you and I focus this on- This is no negotiation. And did I not just tell you to stop speaking? So, bishop, all of this excitement on your first day, you must be feeling a little overwhelmed. Keep him talking, Six, and don't make him angry. You could say that. Today's been pretty rough. Ah, poor little bishop. Let's see now. You've been rudely awoken by Rook 25. Your new plane has been malfunctioning all morning. Pawn 1 over there hates you. What else? Cut to the chase. You obviously want to tell me something. You want me to cut to the chase? How about you tell your people about Pawn 7's untimely demise, hmm? It's not very consortium of you to lie to them, is it? You son of a bitch! What did he just say? What did you just say? <laughs> so you've not told your pawns. Why don't you have someone take a look inside what was once Bishop 8's cabin? Do not look to her for permission! Look at me! It's okay, 19. I... well, I can go look myself. It'll only take a minute. You will not leave this room! You will call another pun to look, now! And put them on the loudspeaker! Patricia, come in, please. Is that you, 19? For why are you calling me Patricia? We have a bit of a situation up here. Please don't ask me any questions. Can you just do me a huge favor and go <laughs> They're asking the person who killed him to go look in his chambers. Ask me on this line ASAP and don't come to Mission Ops. Sure, of course. Give me just a few minutes. Wade, go ahead and unlock the cabin for her. It's done. All right, Carol. Now that you've stirred up even more trouble, let's get to it, shall we? What can we do to make you go away? Go away? But we were just getting started! Hmm, so this is a revenge mission after all. Partly, yes. But admittedly, my initial anger clouded my better judgment. Listen to me. My people are more connected than your king. When they cannot identify someone capable of handing out 600 million EU dollars, that someone is either a ghost or someone to fear. One minute it's threats, the next advice? Both are excellent forms of encouragement. Here's some more advice, mostly for your knight. Trust nobody. It seems that someone is out to destroy the consortium. And they have spies a lot closer than you think. Spies? You want to elaborate on that? If it's names you want, I have none. But think about this. Someone has made it possible for me to know what happened to Bond 7. There's really no telling how many of your own people have been recruited by them. Do not listen to him. He's only testing you.
So Pawn 7 then, tell me how you know about that. Cameras, Bishop. Those who hired me have managed to install spy cameras and sound equipment within your vessel. I can see into every room. Tell me he's making that up. He is absolutely lying, boss. It is impossible. Hmm. Different option or the same thing I went with before? Go the same one. Rook 9 says that's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Perhaps your Rook 9 is involved. What if they are all lying to you? Have you not thought about that? I know exactly who committed this murder. Would you like to know the truth? Pardon 19. Come in. I'm here. Did you find anything? There's... There's, there's blood everywhere. His head is... I... I... You... You... I... I... Get out already! He is dead! Pawn 7 is dead! My god! You people are like children! That is really not necessary! I will decide what is necessary! So, where are we? Ah, yes. Cameras. Pawn 7's death. The big mystery. There are no cameras aboard this vessel. Don't listen to him. If you saw it happen, then who did it? Are you sure you wish to know the truth? You may not like what you hear. What's the point? This is all just a game to you. This is no game. My mission is clear, and even as I speak now, I am completing that mission. Okay, tell me who you think you saw. There was no murder. It was an accident. I have no idea why Pawn 7 went into that room, but he tripped over himself and hit his head on the keypad of the locker. It looks like he broke his neck. <laughs> I had you going, didn't I? Pawn 7's death was not an accident, and his neck was not broken. His skull was crushed. You must think our doctor is stupid. <laughs> Did you mean Rook 13, Mr. Kieran Boyle over there? He and your Pond 4 both came on board at the same time, one month ago. This was almost immediately following the death of my men at the hands of Bishop 8. Coincidence? I think not. Enough! I have reached my limit, Angelo. I won't let you poison my crew any longer with your sputtering nonsense. You have a decision to make. You can destroy us, you can board us and try your hand against our bishop, or you can bloody well listen to what I have to say. What's it going to be? I was hoping I could make you this angry. Something about English women with authority in their voice. It makes me tingle all over. Make your decision! I am in a good mood. The bishop here has certainly amused me enough. Let me hear your proposal. Let us evacuate onto a mission pod. We'll happily leave the area and hand Zenwell over to you. What do you say? Under one condition. The bishop must stay on board and surrender to me. We have much to discuss, he and I. Are you serious? I am not about to hand you my bishop on a bloody platter. I could just tell my men to open fire on you right now. What do you say, bishop? Will you surrender peacefully to me? I will follow orders. I will follow orders. You are like a little puppy biting at the heels of its master. So it seems, little knight, that we have ourselves a deal. I will give you five minutes to do as I say and evacuate all but the bishop. Five minutes, and I want you off that ship. Wade, will you please prepare mission part one? Set it for autopilot towards island, and we'll pick it up when we're done here. No problem, boss. Already standing by. Go ahead and load it with enough junk from the cargo containment unit to simulate our combined weight. That's a nice touch, sir. Very nice. I'm just gonna say nothing. Tell me lockdown systems are up and running. They are. Good. 
Let's get everyone in here then. All Alana, show the bishop what we've got for him. Yes, sir. We do have ourselves an emergency weapons locker. In there, you'll find a couple weapons to choose from. Better hurry this up. They're positioning that carrier just behind our tail. Oh, damn, he's impatient. Okay, launch mission pod one now. Mission pod one is away, and it looks like two of them are following it. That sound, ladies and gentlemen. It's the sound of a boarding carrier tearing a hole through our hull. It's showtime. Just remember, Six. Disarm and surrender to his men. When Kirill comes aboard to gloat, that is when you arm up and take him out. Okay. I can do that. Where do I go? I need to get down. Oh my god, I'm completely lost. How did I get here? There he is. Surround oh, okay. him and hold your fire. Kill once in the life. Sir! We have the bishop, and he appears to be surrendering. Excellent. Hold your position. I'm on my way. If he so much as sneezes in your direction, you know what to do. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Where do you think you are going? Nowhere. I am on board. Bring the bishop to me immediately. Yes, sir! We are coming! Okay. Okay. Whoa! You may still get out of this what the fuck? Is it? Durand? Um... Um, what? Not entirely sure that was supposed to happen. I don't think she's supposed to be there. What the fuck? Huh. Well, I'm not exactly sure all of the bugs have been fixed. She's invincible, I think. So... What if I try to talk to Kirill? Before he shoots me. Get off, get off, get off! Get off. No. I can't talk to him. Let us finish this before it's too late. In due time, my little underling. We have plenty of time. Now that we are... Well... Uh. Mostly alone. I wanted to speak with you, man to man. This whole ordeal has made me very curious about you. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously gonna have a conversation with him in between him shooting. Her, who I think is Durand. Something Durand. Alright, well he knows who I am, I'm pretty sure. I'm not who you think I am. Go on. Who are you then? Just take out your damn rifle and end this now. Wait! Try and lead him into the brig. I have an idea. Oh, you do? I won't tell you in front of your men. Also, stop shooting, Jesus Christ. Interesting. Perhaps you will be more willing to speak with me in private. Excellent work. Get him alone and you'll have your chance. Perhaps I will. Stay where you are. Don't aim that gun at me. Calm down, man. Calm down. Okay, what is this plan? No, Interesting. Six. So, how was it then? What is the mystery behind this day? Who are you really, and who wants you dead? 
Okay, wait. Gas the whole brig. Now. Uh, what the? Um. How are you doing this? You can't stop. <laughs> what the fuck? Bishop, good job capturing Kira. He'll have some questions to answer when he wakes up. Oh, smells nice. Oh, get out of the way. Release the Atmo <laughs> and let them return to the boarding carrier. We've got what we wanted. Thank you. And don't worry, Six. It's only a little high-end sleeping gas. He'll wake up in the brig with nothing more than a head. Okay, then. Ah, this game. Always an interesting experience. Never a dull moment. So, um... Is it, is it a Dell Durand? You okay, Adele? You kind of got shot about 200 times. Right away. I'm coming, I'm coming. I think her back might be a little bit sore after that. 